the call of home is strong, and it has sustained those who've managed to survive the virus. It helped Ruth Chiwuta, a nurse from Zimbabwe who contracted COVID while working at a hospital in Northamptonshire. She was greeted by family and friends on her homecoming, their feelings transformed into song. She is now back home with us. And the last left me. Just 20 or so miles away, another nurse from Zimbabwe was brought back to the house. Musa Unjabalilo spent three weeks in hospital, and his wife, Deborah, struggled to find the right words. I just want to thank, I don't know how to thank you, but all the praise is for us to God. Amen. Thank you. He is. It has been a long journey. According to Zimbabwean embassy officials, at least 37 Zimbabweans have died in Britain during the pandemic. The vast majority, frontline health workers, were told. It's an extraordinary figure from a relatively small immigrant community. They come to Britain to care for the sick and alleviate chronic staff shortages at the country's hospitals, clinics and care homes. In fact, 13% of NHS staff in England have come from abroad. Zimbabwean Rutendo Mukotsanjera arrived in 2002 and worked as an NHS administrator in Staffordshire. But she died in April, two weeks after contracting the virus. Her funeral was live streamed on the internet for the family back at home. She was the eldest daughter of mine. And you know, we were just like sisters. She, we used to talk about this and that and that. So all that is gone. Rutendo supported her mother and her extended family in the Zimbabwean capital, Harare, working additional shifts to send money home. I'm just helpless now. Because Rutendo was so good. She was looking after her children, making sure they get good education. And here and there, she would give me some money because she knew I'd retired. Now all that is shattered. It's a difficult time for the family. Rotendo has left a daughter called Chiesa in the UK. She's currently being cared for by friends. I feel like how she always found a way through, I feel like I can always find a way through any challenge. And it's a difficult time for the Zimbabwean community. Welcome to the Rumbidzai show. Rumbidzai Mavutsa Wibaya hosts a popular chat show on social media, and she's been exploring the collective trauma felt by UK-based Zimbabweans. She never really feels safe. She thinks nursing staff may have gone to work when they were sick and should have stayed home. Some continued working when they were not feeling well because they were not sure whether they had it or not. And I think Zimbabweans, we are a, a nation of very hard workers. We, we, we work hard, we're you know, real hard workers, and it's, it's, it's difficult to actually stop people from working. It's the fear, perhaps, of, of what will happen to us. In Dover, one GP has become seriously alarmed. They told me it was a COVID. Dr. Brighton Chereka is collecting testimony from thousands of Zimbabweans and other BAME or minority ethnic health staff in the UK. And he's concerned about the people employed by private agencies. The people who are working in these agency companies are mostly BAME people. So that's uh, we're being unfairly allocated in COVID wards. So it means that you are coming to only cover those areas which are high risk. So that puts um, agent staff that could burn people at high risk because they are being allocated those shifts. Those are the shifts which are sort of like leftovers. In Northampton, Musa Unjabalilo has gone back to work at the local hospital and says he feels fine. But he's a member of a community that's paid a terrible price during the pandemic and they want to know why they're so vulnerable. 
John Sparks, Sky News.